my name is Dylan Fredericks. Um, I am a ALS paramedic by profession, but I am a lecturer at NAST. I've been lecturing for the past three years. Um, I worked at a few private companies before I came to NAST as a paramedic, and um, I've always been a uh, advocate for for a lot of health issues in our community and for first aid especially since I was involved with a lot of mines in Namibia. Um, but I moved over to teaching when the opportunity came because I wanted to get some momentum in my life here in Bintuk, so I came back. And yeah, I've been enjoying my time. Somebody told me, I, I wanted to study medicine, but um, somebody told me, why don't you try something a little bit more practical? Why don't you try pre-hospital emergency care? And I said, yeah, I'd like to try that. And um, I was unfamiliar with how to um, actually start studying here in, in Namibia, but uh, because of where my family comes from in, in South Africa, we look to those avenues to try and study in, in, in South Africa and I went there. Now being back at, at uh, in teaching, I can see myself in a lot of the, the students that I interact with. To be honest, I really I really didn't I didn't know about about uh, the pageantry. Um, the first few times that I that she mentioned or that you mentioned to me about um, uh, pageantry, it was just in passing conversation. Uh, you asked me, "Can I be excused for Friday because I'm going to a pageantry?" I didn't know it was Miss Namibia. I didn't know it was um, on the scale. I just thought it was something that you were involved with because I knew you were involved with many things and um, you knew the rules: 80% attendance. Otherwise, you can't do exams, but um, you are always punctual with everything else. So I thought, why not? Um, it's not, it's not uh, going to be that detrimental to you. Um, until some of my colleagues mentioned that these pageantries is not, it's, it's actually serious things. It's Miss Namibia. But um, I also didn't know the scale of Miss Namibia. But um, up until the point where you were crowned and um, it was I was, I was happy for you, I was happy that you, you achieved it um, and that your sacrifices were not in vain. Um, and it, it impacted me positively because I think that um, knowing that you sacrificed a lot as being, by being an EMC student, sacrificing a lot because I, I, I understand that you were busy doing a lot of other competitions as well and you are involved with so many things that you had this great win and this great achievement in your life made me very happy and it reminded me that those people who sacrifice a lot and are able to bear that responsibility and manage their time as well as you did, you you guys are the ones who achieve the most and achieve your goals that you want in your life. But the students were busy with the first years, with their um, physical training and the rescue in a riverbed. And um, one of the second years was standing in a little circle and then you came with, with one of my colleagues, with, um, with Ms. Fjallskun. And uh, you came in the bucky and then when you opened the door, all of your classmates were so happy and ecstatic and started immediately dancing and singing and doing all of your GOT songs and all of your um, the motivational uh, songs and singing. That was great. Um, I think everyone was walking through this journey with you in spirit, they knew about what you were doing and uh, they were happy and um, they took heart from it because at that time we were almost near the end yeah. of a 36 hour physical training and uh, uh, what is this, hiking and rescues and mental exercises. I think it for them to see a, 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 a winner when you came there was it lifted their spirits and uh, just to see their classmate do, who sacrifice their time or your time from EMC to, to do the pageantry when they saw you they were very happy. My colleagues also were very happy and they took heart that you were there. And then spending the night in the bush trying to explain your experiences that it just took their mind off of where they were and that's that was great for them and it was also great for all of the other lecturers there as well. To be honest in what you say and what you do because you have a good head on your shoulders, I think, from uh, my limited experience with you and time with you. Um, your, your heart is in the right place. 
you an advocate for health it's something that i i know you you are bearing a responsibility for you 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 just need to be honest about what you're saying to people and uh, what you're doing do it earnestly and then people will be able to see who you truly are when you're speaking in honesty so every question that you answer don't try and answer it to the way that you think people would want you to answer it or don't try and answer it or do things that other people are expecting you to do when you came i remember when you came for your interview a year or two ago your cv was full it was it was full of of accolades and things that you were busy doing in your life and um, at that time i didn't realize it didn't make much of an impact to me because i thought i just have to think about how you would be an emc student but i never realized that all of those things that you're busy with your music modeling the the pageantry was doing gymnastics or what yeah there was gymnastics as well there's a lot of things that you're busy with and that all takes sacrifice and responsibility and you were bearing that responsibility and it, it kept you earnest which i think is great especially for young people they say that um idle hands does the devil's work and um for the youth to take inspiration from you to stay busy and and be a responsible young adult is something that a lot of young people can learn from and um take that to miss universe those things that you stand for and then um act according to what you believe in which is which is experience which is what you're doing now which is great um for us young people me included um to do the right thing takes a lot of sacrifice and you you've been doing that which is great and um for us to to make a sacrifice just to keep our lives positive takes a, a lot of responsibility to how we live our lives and i think you've come to the point where you've made the right decisions you've been living in a responsible way up until the point where you are able to actually share that and you want to you want to be a positive influence in other people's lives and if you you go into miss universe with that mindset and people and you can allow people to see that side of you i think it will be a a great impact on your 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 what do you call it attempt at miss universe but yeah Thank good you. luck